Today we're going to talk about graphing with technology, specifically an iPad and a TI-84 graphing calculator. So we're going to start by thinking about a system of equations. And this is our system, y equals x plus 3 and y equals 1 half x minus 3. If I go to the Quick Graph app, here's the icon. If you happen to have an iPad or if you have an iPhone, this app is free. And when I go to start graphing, one thing I want to do first is I need to reset the scale. And you can see that this is done with the refresh button as shown above. If I would like to add an equation, um, I can use the plus sign, which means add a new equation, and I'll get a screen like this. Now, suppose I was going to put in two equations from my system. The first equation is y equals x plus 3. So I will type that in here. I can see that the turquoise buttons have the variables x, y, r, and theta. So my x and y variables are there. You can see that it's already in ready to accept um, a, an equation that's in function format, y equals. The operations are in the lighter gray down the middle of the keypad, and the numbers are just to the right of that. So I will put that equation in, and after that I can put my second equation in, y equals x divided by 2 minus 3, um, and that will appear in that input window as well. When I'm done, what I get is I can see that I have my two equations on the left, and the first one's graphed in orange and the second one is graphed in purple. Unfortunately, I cannot see the point of intersection in this window. So I can use my two fingers on the touch screen of the iPad to readjust my viewing window so that I do see the intersection of the two lines. Now, we're going to use something, some similar things we learned on the TI-84. Unfortunately, the TI-84 is a little more complicated to use. It's not as intuitive as the iPad. However, it's far more, um, it has far more power and capability. And so we need to learn how to use it. Even if you have a different model, you can see that the 84 plus keypad is shown here. So I always like to start if I'm going to graph by change, going to the zoom window, and there's the button. Those, that top row of buttons has a lot to do with the graph display itself. And I usually like to start by resetting my window to C standard, zoom standard, which is option six. After I've done that, I'm going to go ahead and input my system of equations into y sub 1 and y sub 2. And I get to this particular window by the button on the far upper left, the y equals menu. And then I go ahead and enter my two equations. You can see that the equal signs are highlighted in both cases, so they will both be displayed when I go to my graph. Now the graph key is on the opposite side of y equals is to the far right. And you can see I can that this is similar to the problem we had with our iPad earlier is that we can't quite see the point of intersection. So what I'd like to do is go to my window button so that I can change my viewing parameters. If you recall um, the intersection did happen in the third quadrant and so I'm going to rescale I'm not really rescaling actually. What I'm doing is I'm going to set x minimum and maximum parameters and y axis minimum and maximum parameters. I'm going to look on the y axis, my domain will be between negative 20 and 5, and my range is going to go from negative 15 to 5 so that I am focused on primarily the third quadrant. And so now I can clearly see the intersection of the two lines here when I push graph once again.